ABC 17 News at 10 on KMIZ starts now. The Columbia Police Department held its first of three meetings to talk about its proposed surveillance software. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Holloway. And I'm Lucas Geisler. CPD invited the community to learn about FUSIS. That's a platform that allows the department to access public or business video footage. ABC 17's Marina Diaz joins us live from CPD after going to the meeting earlier tonight. Marina, you spoke with community members about some of their concerns. Marissa, Lucas, people had the opportunity to speak one-on-one -on -one with CPD and FUSA representatives about the software and answer any questions that they may have about it. The software is described as a collaborative public and private security network. FUSA's representative Sahil Merchant tells me more than 150 cities nationwide use the company's surveillance software. It's the central integration point for everything that is needed to keep the community safe and it helps the PD work more closely with the community. CPD spokesperson Christian Tabak says CPD already has access to a few cameras locally. So we have access to the uh, basic city cameras, um, ones at intersections with the stoplights, those sorts of cameras. Otherwise, um, when it comes to obtaining footage, um, we have to get out there and canvas an area. Tayback says the FUSIS software would broaden CPD's capabilities. Uh, FUSIS would be a game changer as far as investigations go um, and being able to access the mat those materials. Jennifer Williams Stacy is a manager for a local hotel and says she thinks the software could help with CPD's ongoing staffing shortage. And I think that sounds like a really good thing because I know that they are short staffed right now. It's been an issue for those of us who need them at certain times and places. However, she does understand why others have reservations about the software. If we were living in a terrible police state, I probably would be concerned. And that is probably something that some people are afraid of. Marissa Lucas, I had the opportunity to check back in with CPD at the end of the meeting, and they told me that they felt as though the meeting was a good way to answer some of those questions for the community members and garner feedback for both CPD and the community. Another meeting will be held at Molly Thompson Bowden Neighborhood Policing Center tomorrow. Reporting live in Columbia, Marina Diaz, ABC 17 News. And the Molly Thomas Bowden Center there in North Columbia Marina. Thank you. FUSIS would run on a permission-based level. CPD will use the feedback given tonight and tomorrow, and it'll be presenting a draft policy on November 9th to the community. Then it'll present the final material to the city council on November 21st.